So in summary, Mrs Jones has been really distressed overnight. Um, the nurses are working really hard to keep her under control, but she's not really responding to any of our usual non-pharmacologic therapies. What do you think we should do next? I think we need to add in a bit of haloperidol. Let's start with a low dose. OK. Actually, um, one thing I had thought of is that we haven't looked at the medication chart. Do you think we should do that before we start the haloperidol? Look, I think the nurses are really getting pretty worried about her behaviour. So let's start the haloperidol. OK, I'll do that. Thanks. I felt a bit hesitant when Nick ordered the haloperidol. Um, I mean, I could see why he did it. The patient was really delirious. But at the same time, we didn't have the medication chart and we didn't know all her medications. Um, at the time, I couldn't really express that concern, but I've had a bit more of a think about it. And I think I will go take a look at the chart in the ward and um, then I'll go have a chat with Nick about it. He's always been really open to me about that and um, hopefully he won't be too upset that I've um, challenged his decision. Excuse me, have you got a moment? Hey, um, I was having a think about Mrs Jones, the lady who we started haloperidol on, and I managed to find the medication chart and I took a good look. Um, you can see that she's on um, a few sedatives here and quite a heavy dose of anticholinergic, which might explain some of her symptoms. Um, I was thinking if we reduced that instead, um, we wouldn't have to use the haloperidol? Yeah, I think you're right, mate. Look, well done, and thanks for pointing that out. Sure. Good on you. Bye. I was really pleased that Brendan came to talk to me about the medications for Mrs Jones today. It really is important that we work as a team and that we're trying to put the interests of the patient as our first priority. And he showed a bit of courage in uh, coming back to me and I was really keen to encourage that. It is important that we look at the medications and we really try and work out how we can reduce medications and he's obviously got that message so I wanted to congratulate him on having done a really good job. I was really nervous to begin with um, and I'm, initially I didn't know how to, what to say but I didn't let it go, I followed it up, I did the medication review by myself and um, I took it to Nick. He was really supportive and open about what I had to say um, and you know, as a result we changed patient management which I think would be really good for her. So I'll definitely do that again.